Just wanted to go over some of the updates that Aptera shared about Gamma. Some we knew, some are just more clear now. So obviously all the suspension stuff from Beta is in the, the Gamma vehicle now. And the suspension does look really refined. I was impressed by what I saw there. And with the 1% larger body, I noticed that more on the interior. I had a lot more headroom than in the Alpha for sure. And the lower seat kind of helped with that as well, the lower hit point. I was happy to see the solar panels on the dash and the hood, or on the, the roof. I'm not sure why they didn't put it on the hood. Maybe it wasn't quite ready yet, but the last thing we've yet to see is the hatch on an actual vehicle, but they know, we do know they exist from that solar video, so it is coming soon. Talk about refined vision assist system. They didn't really explain any of this yet. Like these are just sensors, they're not cameras. These cameras are facing backwards. There is a camera I noticed on the review mirror that points forward. And there's two in the in the tail. So those are the vision. So basically we have one, two, three, four, five. The back two just kind of switch depending if you're backing up or not. So all the body controls, how they've minimized wires, that's actually in gamma, which is cool. So like we've already known, four inches longer in the cargo space, lower and pointier nose, integrated solar panels, which are functional. And this, they mentioned that it's 150 degree field of view with the light, so it kind of help visualize that for you. That's, this obviously isn't the scale, and this is an older design, but the only one I could find that was like straight on like this. So this is the 150 degree, 50 degrees of view. So it'll be plenty. I'm curious how this would look like at night. Those optics are pretty good sized. These aren't gonna illuminate the road. These are just more for highlights. So these would be the main lights. Kind of talked about that already. I would assume this would have like a top-down parking system like a lot of modern cars do. I hope that's the case with this. Kind of talked about the bench. And then Delta will kind of be all these last little touches like they talked about like the, like if you need to tow a lap tear for some reason there's like, there's gonna be tie down points. They're not, they're working on that for Delta is they couldn't reveal anything to me at the show. Just lots of little things that I would imagine we would see full functional steering wheel on Delta. These knobs on the gamma were not functional. And probably more final designs on the center. I wasn't sure how integrated the audio was into this gamma. I couldn't get a clear answer on that. And there you can actually see the cable routing that was covered at the show actually. So it's interesting to see that. So this will obviously be covered. That's probably what these mounting points are right here is to mount an arrow cover over this so it's not exposed. So some good stuff coming. I imagine we'll get some Delta news. Like I mentioned before, I would I would guess late November, early December for some I would think probably the I would think probably at least the, the concept CGI of Delta will be revealed in November and then probably a physical in December in some degree. So that's my prediction. 
Uh, let me know your thoughts. See you next time.